what to do when your emotions charm, when your emotions simply rage within like an ocean. Well, when your emotions go angry, remember that your emotions exist in what we may call the inner world. Within your inside world, you should be the only deity that should preside over that region. As they say, um, happiness is an inside job. So the point is, why focus on anger too much? Because every minute focused on anger, well, it means one minute of happiness lost. Well, that's an interesting and cute quote, but the question is, what to do in those situations when, well, honestly, you're simply overwhelmed by anger, mainly due to karmic reasons. Uh, see, the point is, once your emotions start churning and it's you feel like overwhelmed, well, don't feel bad necessarily about that, because honestly, the situation was beyond you, in a way. When something happens, one can choose to act consciously or unconsciously. Although you're probably aware that in many cases in your life, you have been simply fe feeling overwhelmed by some situations. Either depression crippled you, or someone said something, probably they didn't have any uh, harmful intentions, but it simply triggered you in such a horrible way. Well, there are those situations. Just do a little trick, honestly. Because when you reach those situations in which you can't control yourself, the problem is a lot of things have accumulated within. See, a raging ocean is only the result of a gathering storm, right? Or a storm that is unleashing. So in order to make sure that your emotions don't uh, unleash yet again in a harmful way or in such a violent way, make sure that you prevent the storm next time. How one may prevent the storm? See, the point is, when you get angry, those are not your emotions in most cases. Those are frustrations emitted by others. And just because you're around and probably a bit more uh, sensitive, you simply took them upon you. And you didn't realize the impact that they would have. As more and more of these gather, they're just like little clouds, you know, setting together to form and unleash a big storm. Whenever you have some spare time, try to do some exercise in which you simply anger yourself, right? You think yet again of someone who has pissed you off a long time ago and this and that, and let your mind simply loose with whatever it may uh, come up with, right? Even if it goes into the, let's say, field of murder or harming them in any way, don't forget that ultimately it is not an intention. As long as you keep your mind simply creating its own thoughts and you don't attach yourself to any of those thoughts, it is a good exercise that I have been practicing because I was not setting any intention. You know, when someone pisses you off, you pent up anger. It is wise to not release it in, well, at that moment because a lot of people excel at making it look like you're the aggressor instead. So you can pretend or at least act as a wise uh, human and simply let situation go and calmly try to handle it unless well violence ends up being the only solution but after you deal with that solution when you get home first thing do a shower because a shower especially wetting your hair for a long time will remove a lot of the negativity you have accumulated from other people even if there are people at your own home Afterwards, try to do some short exercise that I've been doing throughout my life in which you simply think about that person and let your mind think whatever it wants to think. Don't forget your mind is nothing else but an engine of ingenuity, an engine of creation. Your mind will obviously try to seek vengeance, harm them, probably even murder them. Remember that it's all just nothing else but free entertainment. It is a free movie. You don't have to pay any ticket for that. It's just free movie. The mind you is gonna simply recycle some ideas you have seen. The more horror movies you've seen, probably it's gonna directly tend towards those. Don't get attached to any of those uh, ideas. Just let it flow. And you're gonna let a bit of your uh, anger or you know the pent up energy simply be directed into something uh, let's say creative rather than destructive. 
If simply sitting idle and imagining things isn't your kind, well, you can play some video games, preferably a single player, so don't you ruin, so you don't ruin other people's uh, experience of a multiplayer game, and do whatever the game can give you, and well, you know, use that pent up frustration in a certain way. You know, you can kill some uh, uh, virtual enemies in the game, and well, it can, in some cases, help you distress. That usually isn't always the best point, because you can do instead some physical exercise, or you could do some drawing, or some singing, especially playing some instrument. Doing some physical aspects to release energy can always help, because when other people anger you, it's like you're getting an excess of energy. Sooner or later, it will get so much, you're not going to be able to simply hold it, and it will be simply released in a quick way. And typically the easiest way to release it is by being angry, shouting and doing things that simply tire you quickly, right? So doing something uh, sporty, right, that would tire you greatly and in a short period of time can also be a possibility. But I would suggest, as of my personal experience, I would suggest drawing anything. It doesn't matter. And since you might actually end up... uh, emotionally like pouring emotion from time to time into that drawing especially if it's among the first time obviously you're gonna pour some emotion into that so just to make sure you're not gonna uh, end up wishing harm on others well you can simply throw the paper away some people might say burn the paper but depending on the situation see it's not gonna help in much say think because once you have uh, invested emotion into something, it's already invested in there, it's already gone in that direction. Burning the source is probably not gonna dispel it, probably it's gonna help uh, more into achieving it. Now, I really don't know this part, but I don't know. If people know me, they can tell me in the comment section below. And hopefully this video raised a bit of awareness. You are appreciated, take care, and these being said, enjoy life. Ferenc and board signing out.